Harley Davidson is here, and so we're gonna go ride some uh, Pan Americas. Oh my God! <laughs> He says Look he at that! Like to ride with you. Thunderstorm coming with 60 some mile an hour winds and quarter size tail. <laughs> I am a card carrying Harley rider now. <laughs> so we're here at the Crane General Store. We're about to start our 2021 Giant Loop ride. We've been at the rally for a couple days now, but we're excited to get out on the bikes and go check out a place that I've been dying to get to. I've been a lot of places in Oregon, probably not all of them, but a lot of places. And this one is Oahe Canyon and it's been on my list for a long time. The Oahe Canyon lands are, I, I just, you know, there's barely any pictures. It's way the heck out here in Oregon. And as long as you're way the heck out here, might as well go a little bit further and go check out something that's on the list. So we're excited to check it out. We're a little bit worried about fuel. So we're waiting for the general store to open at eight o'clock. It's like 7.30 now. And we're gonna fill up everything to the brim and we're gonna see if we make it. It's just over 200 miles. It's an out and back. And so we have to have enough fuel. There's no gas along the way. And uh, uh, we have some little bikes with us. So we have a KLX 300 that has a tiny little fuel tank. We've got a couple of gas. Make it, hopefully we will, and if, if we don't, you guys will find out, and if we do, obviously we'll, you guys will find that out too. All right, there's the store, last gas, headed through the town of Crane, which I'm told is like the only boarding school in America where kids get dropped off every week, stay the night, and uh, or stay the week rather, and then get picked up for the weekends, which is, I guess Harney County has got the uh, largest county in Oregon and also uh, what, the only boarding school in the US. Is that right, Chris? Uh, not the only boarding school in the U.S., but I think it's, yeah, maybe an only public boarding school. I'm not sure. Yeah, anyway, the locals were telling us all about how this area is, uh, used to be a cattle um, cattle railway. They would load up the cattle here and uh, for sale back in the early 1900s. This whole town is used to be a big hub for the area. Um, you know, obviously just ranching and stuff, but I think maybe that's the boarding school. Is that, yeah, that, that looks like the boarding school there. But a uh, little tiny town now, just a little general store and a gas station and a bunch of just little ranches. Yeah, I was talking to somebody who lived out here and she said the population was 25 on the weekends and 125 during the week. We just hit dirt, not, past, not far past the town of Crane. It's, I guess this is gravel, it's not really dirt. It's just kind of a big wide gravel road. I think we're gonna be on this for a long time. Look at this. Just beautiful plateaus everywhere you can see. This winding road dipping down into them. That's pretty. It's a big country out here. I just want to make sure everybody was good. Yeah, it's super dusty, so I think everybody's really stretched out. Yep. Plus, you know, 300. <laughs> I can only go so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I was going 70 back there on the gravel. Yeah. I'm having a hard time maintaining that. It, this thing only wants to go like 65 back. We've got our first set of turns. It's no longer a straight, barring gravel road. We've got some ranches here, and we're kind of in a little valley here. We're going to ride nice and slow by these folks' house. You know, we'll ride respectfully thing. And uh, hay bales, beautiful canyons. I think uh, the guys are back there a ways. We're trying to spread out for dust. It is a dusty one. But yeah, I mean, could you imagine living out here in the middle of nowhere? Like you're 50 miles from any kind of civilization at all, and half of that is gravel road. That'd be uh, something special. I could do it. I don't know. Could you do it? Let me Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you could live out here in the middle of nowhere, or if that would be too stressful for you because you forgot. I don't know eggs or mayonnaise or something at the store. Let me know in the comments. All right, our first water crossing. I'm gonna stop off and see if I can get some snaps. Some video and some pictures of the guys. Okay. <laughs> We got another water crossing. This one looks sketch. Oh, it is sketch. It's soft down there. All right, let's see what the, how these guys do. 
I'm under, my foot's under. I can't move. <sighs> um, I don't lift that way. Don't lift that way. On the back, lift the back. <laughs> okay. I think I have a hand. Thanks. <laughs> my hand's stuck now. Hang on. Your phone's okay. in the water. Your phone's in the water. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> oh shit. That didn't go well. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chris. <laughs> thanks, sir. I didn't think back to that IED. Do you want help? Okay. Do you want help? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, the mud is sucking my foot under. You gotta roll. Get all the gas. <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me, man. <laughs> man, I went so green. I didn't know it was so deep. I almost fell. Okay, so what do you think happened, Chris? Ah, uh, I'm probably needing more gas. Okay, we dried our feet out and we're back on the trail best we can. Uh, Chris took a soaking. <laughs> she is covered in mud. <laughs> but, you know, you don't learn until you try and you don't try without failing. I don't know. She's she's a trooper. She's, uh, she's crashed a lot in water crossings and I feel like someday she's going to it's gonna click for her but today is not that day so she's trying though i really um i really appreciate her tenacity and uh, desire to learn to the river. Fun part is we get to do all that again, except backwards. This is gorgeous. Hard to, hardest part of that whole thing was finding the trail. I mean, there's some parts where it just disappeared, you know, and we spent a little bit of time here and there trying to find it again, but it was fun. It was you fun. Know? Yeah. It was good riding. Treacherous. Some spots. I mean, you know, I like to swim in puddles. <laughs> It's my jam. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention that. Yes, well, it's going to be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, we're, it's, it's warm and we're getting ready to head back. Woohoo! Get to do it all again. Mm -hmm. Okay, this road right here marks the end of the fun gravel road, dirt road, country road. I don't know, what do you want to call it? Backcountry road riding? Backcountry splendid adventure! <laughs> <laughs> this dirt road, this gravel road turns into an even wider gravel road and an even wider gravel road. And it's not all that fun. We're gonna just cruise at like 50. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Try to save gas. the fuel. I think somebody just ran out of fuel. 16 miles to go. I know. I know. Gas is closed in seven minutes. Really? Yeah. We're out of fuel. Out. Of, he's out of gas. I know. You do better. I bet if you make it back to camp, somebody's gonna have gas. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Do you want to stay here with him? Yeah. Okay. All right, All right. You ready? I'm gonna follow you until I run out. Okay, <laughs> we'll be back for you.
Chris with a gallon of gas, two gallons of gas, one for each. <laughs> yeah, we, so KTM's made it squeaking by on fumes back to the uh, back to the Crane Hot Springs, and then somebody loaned us a two gallon gas bag with gas in it. Because uh, the main store, the Crane General Store, is closed. Uh, maybe we missed it by like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> And there they are, there they are. in the road. <laughs> try to conserve fuel. Totally. Wrapping up another day at the Giant Loop Ride. They did giveaways and there's going to be presentations tonight and BDR showing the movie, the 10 year retrospective. So you can hear it now. Have a good night. All right. Well, we were just headed out and there's a bike broke down. Yeah, we're so. going to go pick them up because we have room on the trailer. <laughs> It's rescue mission time. Coming on up to our buddies with the broken down bike. We're just gonna pull into this lovely driveway. They've already talked to the owners of the property. How's it going? <laughs> Dude, go up. So these guys are from Portland. Yep. They're going through Ben. Oh, perfect. So they got room for you. Oh, okay. So you'll ride with nice. Ben. Wow. Thank are you, you guys good so much. Truck ride with us? Yeah. I mean, if you guys are okay with me. Yeah. yeah. Are you good so with much. me filming you for YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Josh. I'm Nathan. This is Chris. Derek. Derek. Oh, you're the BDR this guy. Is, I'm one of the BDR guys. Right on. Okay. Yeah, Derek's the BDR guy. Oh, right Chris on. is the BDR girl. Okay. <laughs> we're, doing, we're, doing, we're doing BDR. We're doing Washington uh, probably in August. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. That's going to be hot. Or cheered off. Damn. I was going fast. Guess what? They do not like to steer with a front foot tire. Oh my gosh. He said his tire went and he was all over the road. Must have been super scary. But we told him about Woody's wheels. <laughs> That's important. And he's going to do a BDR in August. Done. The upper crash bar was on here, like the right side is still on. It sheared off and then it ripped off the cable to this. But luckily that's the only damage, but yeah, the upper crash bar. Was... That's pretty amazing. That was all that happened. And if I didn't have this, yeah, that, yeah. like my tank would have been just I love that skin plate. I really believe that it's good karma to help out any motorcyclist that's stranded. I always stop and check in, and in this case, you know, I'm just super happy to help them. It didn't really take anything out of my days, so awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we get to make the trek home. Yeah. Woohoo! Someone was assumed the position. <laughs> assumed the position.